set here and uh, I'm gonna put boots on Shooter coming from Alaska when we were up hunting the ptarmigan high in the rocks. He got a couple of cuts on his feet and it's been a few days so they're starting to heal up but just as a safety precaution out here I don't want them to get any worse so we're gonna tape some boots on them. And I always like to say when the dogs first start like that they walk stiff-legged and just look awkward because they're not used to it but it'll save his feet for for the season. It's like he's been waiting to run for a few days. Got our first hunt of the season. We're gonna hunt this uh, canyon here. We're gonna hike the hillside and there should be some chuckers tucked in here. At least there have been in the past. And then when we come back, we're gonna circle up high kind of the flat stuff, and that's generally where some huns should be. Down low. Okay. They circled around the side over here. Being a group about 12 to 15. Yeah. There goes some out the side. We had a pretty cool one. We were walking out here with the dogs and I'm hoping we got it on camera because it happened real quick, but we had a morning dove hop out in front of us. So it was, like I say, I like to do it in front of the dogs versus trying to do it over a field. I know we'll run into these, these guys a lot throughout the fall, but good way to start off here in Wyoming. Well, it was a pretty good first day here in Wyoming. Got into a couple of huns early and then a morning dove late. Tomorrow's supposed to be just a skosh warmer, but we'll be doing the same thing out here in the prairies, just kind of looking for Hungarian partridge and then working the, the sides of some deep ravines looking for some chuckers. But it's my first time upland hunting in Wyoming and it's been amazing so far. hunt chuckers and huns today and it's really kind of rocky terrain there's not a whole lot of brush and they're in the open area 
So I'm using a 20 gauge and I'm gonna use number six versus seven and a half. So normally if I was hunting in just for huns or something like that to where they'd be a little bit closer, I'd be shooting seven and a half. But I'm gonna shoot six today in a 20. Just because it's light, we're gonna do lots of miles. This is the ethos I've kind of fell in love with this thing over the last week or so. But I'll be using this a ton in the fall. a big chunk of BLM land here for chuckers and huns and they put in a guzzler here for all the wildlife and this is especially key for chuckers they're very susceptible to drought and winter conditions so Wyoming in this part extremely dry so this guzzler helps the animals out a lot and also helps our dogs out it's hot today and they're hopping in and out and give them a good break Putting on the miles looking for chuckers here and their terrain is not fun in these sides of these rock hills and pretty steep trying to get up towards the top chuckers are known to when they kind of get pressured they run to the top and then they take off from there but we have not got into any yet and it's not for lack of effort so far but we'll stay at it Catch me howling at the moon. Ooh, ooh, ooh.